so right here is the worst or the laziest little short line product the company's ever made. It's a flat car. It's like literally just a flat block of wood with wheels. There's like thousands of these already made by other companies. However, Will sought to make their own. I'm going to open the box right now. So. so, I cut a hole in the plastic part in the bottom. So that way, it's the packaging is preserved and not damaged. But this thing's been in here for like over po possibly 20 years or less. Maybe even just 10 years, maybe. But I wish I had different desk color. Oh, crap, the doorbell. I'm going to have to resume this video later. All right, I'm back. So this is the whole product. It's just a flat car. So you got four wheels. It's flat. Got the rounded corners, which I dislike a lot because it doesn't look like something you'd see on a normal flat car. And in case you're asking, in case you saw this earlier, no, I'm not opening that right now. It's rare as it is already, so that's just gonna stay in its box for now. Until I can find a tender for it. So, here it is. Now, the reason I don't like this thing is because, well, I'm 99% sure that they made this simply out of spare parts for their tank cars. Like, look, I'm gonna go grab a tank car, I'll be right back. So I brought up a tank car from the basement. Just so you have a good idea of how this thing is pretty much just a tank car. So if you look at it from the top, or from the side here, they got the rounded edges, literally the same lengths, except there's no tank on it. So I have this theory that this item was only made out of spare parts for the tank cars. Because I think it's obvious here, it's just, it's just a tank car without the tank. That's all it is. Nothing more. So, I apologize for my heavy breathing right now. I ran to the basement to grab the tank car and I'm exhausted. Ah, I'm really disappointed that exhausted me, but it's in the video now. But So, yeah, this item was obviously made out of spare parts from the tank car production when they made these. So that is one reason why I think it's not that great. Another reason why I think it's not that great is because it kind of fails at what it was meant to be. If you were to put something on it, like, let's put like this blimp on it maybe. Yeah, it looks cool. There's nothing holding it in. Or let's put this uh, military vehicle on it. Nothing's holding it on. So it'll just like fall off. So yeah. You're also extremely limited with what you can put on it. Like, you can't really put anything larger than a Hot Wheels car on it. So, that's really all you can use it for. However, here we have one made by another brand. I don't remember what company this was. I think it's Imaginarium, one from when I was younger. But the thing about this Imaginarium one is you can take something like a Hot Wheels car, put it in, it fits just, it fits just perfectly fine. Can like can actually move. However, does not work with the little short line one. It just it just rolls off. So yeah. So this product's just not that great. You can't hold cargo on it. This one can actually. It's obviously just made from a tank car, as I showed already. Just a tank car frame without the tank. So, it's not the best. I wouldn't recommend getting it unless you like collecting rare items from Little Shortline. That's something I do. But, here is the Little Shortline flat car. It's an absolute joke. But, yeah. Little Short Shortline's obviously made much better products before. Like, just, just look at this train. They've absolutely made much better things like this C44 engine and just normal G GP38. Like, well, Shortline's made good products, lots of good products, or 
freight car is usually good. Almost everything's usually good. This flat car, it's just terrible. I wouldn't get it. If you were to use it for something, I'd just put it in the background of, like, one of your videos. Like, just have it, like, a piece of cargo on it. Just have it sitting in the background. Because it'd be impossible to film with it with cargo on it. Unless you were to, like, use, like, clay or glue or tape to hold it on. But that might peel paint off. So, I just wouldn't. So, this is the uh, unboxing and review of the Will Shortline Flat Car. A very rare item. If you enjoyed this... I don't know, just do nothing, I don't really care if you like or subscribe, I might, I might do that in the future, I changed my mind, if you want me to unbox that and review it in the future, just, just tell me, alright, okay, bye.